wa pili alete nne wa tatu alete ngapi mbili wa kwanza alifaulu akaleta kumi wa pili akafaulu akaleta nne wa tatu akaleta ngapi si bwana alifurai alifurai akufurai kwa sababu hakutumia uwezo wake hata ikiwa alipewa moja Bwana alitaka tu alete moja nyingine sio tano sio sita sio kumi ngapi moja tu Yesu Kristo ameenda safari kwa mfano inaweza kufananishwa kwenda kwake juu mbinguni ni safari lakini atarudi tena kama huyu bwana katika injili ya leo aliporudi na tauliza kila mmoja wetu afanye hesabu ya yale ambayo alimwachia Kristo ametuachia kila mmoja wetu zawadi ya imani na kila mmoja wetu atumie hiyo imani kulingana na uwezo wake Nini wana kikundi wa mtakatifu Monica ni pia Kristo anawapa zawadi na nataka mtumie hiyo zawadi kulingana na uwezo wenu ili kuhubiri injili. Kitafari kidogo, tafakari kidogo juu ya mtakatifu Monica msimamizi wenu. Alitumia namna gani talanta yake? Monica aliolewa kwa mwanamume ambaye hakuwa na imani. Alikuwa anaitwa Patricius. Patricius hakuwa na imani. Lakini Mungu aliwajalia watoto. Baadhi yao Agostino na ndugu yake. Agostino alipokuwa akianza kuwa kijana, nikana kwamba alifuata nyaya za baba yake. Akafuata nyaya za baba yake. Yeye pia akaacha imani. Ili jambo lilimletea Monica huzuni nyingi sana kwanza bwana yake ana imani na ni msubufu sana alikuwa mkali sana kwa Monica alafu sitoshe sasa mtoto amefuata hiyo njia amepoteza imani mwanajua Monica alisema fanya nini akina mama wa akina mama wa jana mnajua Monica alifanya nini Monica alianza kuomba akilia nini machozi sala na machozi kwa ajili ya mume wake na kwa ajili ya mtoto wake warudi kwa imani wapende Mungu hilo likawa ni jukumu lake kama mama mzuri wa watoto mke mzuri wa boma kama mke mzuri alimwombea bwana wake kama mama mzuri aliwaombea watoto wake alifaulu au kufaulu bwana yake kabla ya kufa alikubali kubatizwa nguvu za sana bwana yake ambaye alikuwa amekataa imani kabla ya kufa akiwa katika kitanda cha kufa alikubali kubatizwa akabatizwa sala yake Monica mbele za Mungu ilipendeza kama ubani tunaochoma katika altare kaenda mpaka juu mbinguni Mungu aijibu hiyo sala mtoto wake Agostino Mungu pia alijibu sala ya Monica Agostino aligeuka akarudia imani. Isitoshe akawa padri. Isitoshe akawa askofu. Sala ilifaulu au haikufaulu? Wangapi wanajikuta katika hali kama ya Monica katika maisha yao? How many of you sometimes feel as if you are Monica? wale ambao wakati mwingine anaona mimi ni Monica kabisa hali yangu ni Monica ukijikuta katika hiyo sahali leo tunaambiwa 
uwe kama huyu mama mtakatifu ambaye sikukuu yake inasherekea leo alipewa talanta hata kama ilikuwa mbili alileta ngapi mbili talanta Bwana yake na mtoto wake walirudia Mungu hatimaye e Monica akafa mbele yake Agostino lakini akamwomba Agostino akamwambia na kuomba jambo moja tu unikumbuke mbele ya altare ya Mungu ukiomba sasa ilikuwa nizamu ya Agostino kumwombea mama ya mama alikuwa anaomba mtoto amegeuka sasa ni zamu ya mtoto kuombea mama atakapokuwa amekufa Mungu amjalie uzima wa milele kikundi chenu cha mtakatifu Monica ni kikundi cha kipekee sana ni kikundi ambacho kinasimama mbele ya mila na kinasema mimi ni Mkristo mimi ni mama Mkristo Mnasimama imara kama mashujaa wa imani mnasema bila Kristu sisi si kitu. Mnasimama mbele ya mila mnasema heri nifilie Kristu wangu kuliko kufilia mila yangu. Si ndio wa Kristu. Kundi chenu kinasema. Na imekuwa safari ngumu. Tangu kikundi chenu cha widows kianzishe you have stood firm against a powerful cultural practice it was not easy from the very beginning you are saying you want to maintain the sanctity of the sacrament of marriage the sanctity of christian life the sanctity of the teachings of the gospel the purity of the human body in the presence of god these are the virtues this group stands for and for this you are a powerful group of faith in the archdiocese of kisu you are a witness like monica you are the monicas of today you are the monicas of today and it's not for nothing that saint monica is called your patron saint because you find yourselves in a situation just like that of saint monica i invite you as the gospel reading of today invites us to use your talents tumieni talanta ambayo Mungu amewapatia katika familia zenu changamoto zinaweza kuwa tofauti wote ni wajane lakini changamoto za familia ni tofauti kila mmoja wetu akae na hizo changamoto lakini aweke Kristo mbele yake ili atakapokuja mara ya pili atukute tu tayari tumetumia talanta zetu vizuri talanta ya kwanza talanta ya sala Tuombe kila mara Mungu atusaidie katika maisha yetu tuweke misingi thabiti ya imani. Isitoshe. Tusaidie wenzetu ambao wanahitaji msaada wetu. Wale ambao hawajaelewa vizuri mwito wenu kama akina mama chini ya ulinzi wa mtakatifu Monica kama msimamizi. Sambaza injili ya kikundi chenu spread the gospel of your group the good news of your group share it with others that is the talent you have been given don't hide it under a bed or under a cover stand up to be counted and say nothing can come between me and Christ The Diocese of Kisumu is proud of you. The Diocese of Kisumu treasures you. The Diocese of Kisumu, if Christ 
were to come today and ask me, please give me the wealth of the Archdiocese of Kisumu. I'll present you. Isn't it? utajiri wa jimbo kuu la Kisumu sababu unashikia imani nile Kristo anataka. Na tunaomba Kristo mwenyewe atakapokuja awakute bado mnashikilia hiyo imani imara. Alafu mtaweka mbele zake kama zawadi iliyotoka kwake mnamrudishia. Tell Christ this is the gift we receive from you we give it back give it back to you. Meanwhile may he render you strong. Because we know you also have challenges. Your voices telling you to go back, isn't it? There are very many voices and sometimes they are very loud telling you ah vitu vya dunia ni vizuri. Kwa nini hutaki kuja? Lakini unasema it is either Christ or nothing. Christ or nothing. Christ or nothing. You are the treasure of the church. You are the treasure of the archdiocese of Kisumu. You share in a special way in the wealth of the archdiocese of Kisumu. When Christ comes back a second time from that long journey, let him find us faithful, strong, committed, carrying the flag of the glory of Christ the risen Lord saying away with iniquity let us embrace a life of holiness and we pray for you we pray for your families and pray for your family every day pray for the difficult moments in your family every day just as Saint Monica did and God answers the tears of those who cry to him. Do you have any tears to cry? Do you have any tears to cry? Una machozi yeyote wewe wakulia? Lia sahi mbeza Christo atakusikia. He listened to the tears of Saint Monica and answered those tears, abundant, tears abundantly. He will also listen to your tears and in faith he will answer to them abundantly, just as he answered the tears and prayers and supplications of St. Monica. We pray for all those participating in this celebration. We pray for all the faithful in our Archdiocese of Kisumu, that we may be united in taking care of the talents the Lord has given to us, whether it is five, whether it is four, whether it's T3 or 2, even if he has given you half, he's only asked me to bring back half. If he has given you a quarter a talent, he's only asked me to bring back a quarter a talent. But those who have been given 10, you bring how many? 10 to make them 20. If he has given you one eighth, bring another eighth to make it a quarter because that is your strength by the grace of God that means every one of us has a place in the presence of God and every one of us has been allotted the means to seek God and to find God you this group of the widows in the archdiocese of Kisumu you have been given a privileged a privileged pulpit from which to preach the gospel of Christian purity. Let us keep this message of the gospel and present ourselves before Christ every day as sacrifices worthy of his notice.